I shall treasure it. Thank you. Gloves? You're giving me gloves? What for? I did not mean to sound ungrateful. It is just... Wait. These are Dalish, are they not? My mother was Dalish, and had a pair very similar to these. The leather was less thick, and it had more embroidery, but these are very close, and quite handsome. Do I seem surprised? Perhaps I am. Still, I appreciate the fact that you even thought of me. No one has simply given me a gift before. Thank you. You're a hard man to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy. Levy Dryden. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins? Levy the trader? Really? He never told you of old Levy? We've known each other for years. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the Wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, but that. But I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. Well, as you know, my family's name is mud around noble circles. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last Warden Commander of Ferelden back when the Wardens were known as Freeloaders. So King Olin banished the Wardens, and he took House Dryden's land and titles. Hard to say. After King Olin died, there was a civil war, loads worse than this one. And our family was on the run, hunted by enemies, with nary a friend in the world. But Dryden's are tough. We rebuilt, became merchants, and we never lost our pride. I ask for the truth. My family reveres Sophia Dryden. We know she died at the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. We want evidence to clear her name. It won't restore our land or our titles, but it'll restore our honour. Well, no one's been to Soldier's Peak since Ireland's days. At least none that's come back. I spent years mapping the maze of tunnels to the peak, and I found the way a few years back. So I went to Duncan, I did, and I said that he could reclaim the old base and my family could have its honour. I can pick my way through the tunnels at the base of Soldier's Peak, but the place, well, they say it's haunted, and it'll be dangerous for certain. Will you think on it, at least? A thousand blessings upon you, Warden. I'll mark down the location on your map. When you arrive, we'll pick our way through the tunnels together. Yes. Indeed. Indeed. Here we are. Soldier's Peak. Maker's breath. Look at the size of her. What a fortress. I told you the map would get us through the tunnels. It's just teeming with history. Can't you feel it? So, I'll follow you about from a distance. This place has the stench of death. I expect there's trouble up ahead. Soldier's Peak. Looks like it's seen better days. Better centuries, more like.
Once the wardens flourished, their ranks full, their caliber certain. Now they even accept people like you, Alistair. Fall back! Fall back already! Taking the peak will not be easy, my lord. I gave the Wardens one chance to die with honor. Instead, they hold up like cowards. We follow the King's advice, then. Starve them out. But the peak has months of supplies. Then we wait. When they are too weak to lift their weapons, we will send them to their final judgment. What was that? Felt a bit woozy there. I'm not mad, am I? You saw it too. I've heard an Orlesian ballad about something like this. A beauty trapped in a dream. In the song, Belisa never wakes up. Your prissy friend here is making me nervous, Warden. How's this even possible? The place must truly be haunted. The veil? Demons? Thank Andraste you came, Warden. <sighs> After you.
The men's morale is low. My spells are of no use in this matter, Commander. There is more to leading men than sorcery, Avernus. I will remind them that they're wardens. Men! I won't lie to you! The situation is grim. Our forces outnumbered, our bellies empty, and our hearts are sagging. But we are wardens! Darkspawn flee when they hear our horns. Archdemons die when they taste our blades. So are we to bend knee to a mere human despot? No! I, for one, will never give up! I, for one, will never surrender just to dance on Arlen's gallows. So I propose here and now, in these hallowed halls where generations of our brethren stood vigil against darkspawn and evil, that we send a message to that fat bastard. In this sacred place, proud men, strong men, stood defiant and would rather die than submit to tyranny. So brave, even when starving and my great-great-grandmother stood with them. Not much is known of King Arland. The War of Succession that followed his death, now that was a piece of work, lasted nearly a decade and almost burned Denerim and the palace to the ground. Loads of history was lost, but maybe there's answers to that inside. But I've gabbed enough. Lead on, my friend. do it. It shall be done.
door won't hold, Archivist. Almost done. The, the truth must be told. What does it matter? We're dead. Our Grand Rebellion is so close. And to die here at a stillbirth. We never should have done it. Wardens aren't supposed to oppose kings and princes. Should we stand idly by? Another one? Rebellion? What's this about a rebellion? If only the book weren't burned. We could only hope. Fighting. Summon demons. Can't believe it. And my grandmother, she knew.
I believed that my family was better than that. But answers may lay up ahead. As you said, it shall be done. It is begun. Step no further, Warden. This one would speak with you. This one is the Dryden, Commander, Sophia, <laughs> all these things. Grandmother? You have slain many of the demon ilk to get here. This one would propose a deal. That, or she's really let herself go. My great-great-grandmother is dead. I don't know what that is. What is one woman child compared to your might? Strike me down if my terms offend. A fool this one would be to betray the Warden. This one has tasted her memories, seen her thoughts and hidden places. But she is food for this one. No more, no less. You can't be serious. There's nothing left of Commander Dryden. She's possessed. Your fledgling should mind its place. Meek, subservient, quiet. This one will answer your question. The soldier's peak traps me. This one sees so many tantalizing places in the Dryden's memories. This one would see the world herself. For me to be free, into the old mage tower you go and destroy. In return, this one seals the veil. No more demons. No more enemies. Your peak would be safe. Just let this one go into the world. This one will roam, this one will see, this one will feed. But without me, the veil will grow weaker. More demons, more misery. You choose just one of my kind, or many. The magics, all moving things, the very stone if you have the power. Something inside keeps my kind locked away. Yes. This one smells the sweet stench of lies upon you. You seek to betray this one. Yeah. Your offer is accepted. Come, follow this one. <laughs> 